Hey gang, how you doing? Thanks for coming back to my channel. Just uh, like a slide says right there, how can prices keep increasing while sales are decreasing in Northern Virginia? We're going to talk a little bit about job growth, low inventory, and how the high interest rates are affecting the market very quickly. But as we get into the numbers, you'll see that in Northern Virginia, we keep seeing these record numbers of price increases on the average moving up, depending on where they are and what property types sometimes are not as great as others. But when June came out, it definitely was a big difference in the price increases for uh, Alexandria, Arlington and Fairfax and other markets in Northern Virginia. The three components to the current market, we still have strong job growth in Northern Virginia. Like I've said before, we have the Pentagon, the White House, the Congress in our backyard and a lot of contractors. So that just keeps the jobs coming in. And we'll touch more on that in just a moment. But it was in the last 12 months that the Bureau of Labor Statistics were keeping track back in February, which is the latest numbers they have. We've grown our job market by 124,000 jobs and we'll talk more about that in just a moment. The lack of inventory still plagues us. You hear all over the country that maybe inventory is growing. We're just not seeing that happen here in Northern Virginia. And then of course, a little bit about the interest rates. These are the articles that I pulled down. And if you get most of your news from a national website or television station, you're gonna see these types of information coming across, which most of it is national information. You know, demand for mortgages are dropping. Pending home sales fell 20%. U.S., this one behind me, U.S. home prices to plunge substantially on cratering demand. Some sort of economist is saying about that. But I'll just keep saying that you need to be looking locally about what's going on with the market for your property, whether you live in it or it's investment property. You know, what's happening local? There is no national market. Interest rates may be across the board the same, but the real estate markets are definitely locally based and it depends a lot on what's happening with the job market and the demand that you have there. Houses are where the jobs go at night. I mean, that's just the bottom line. If you do not have strong job growth, then obviously you're going to see a, a larger increase in your value, the decrease in the number of buyers coming out. But ever since 2009 in Northern Virginia, we have had a substantially strong market. We just outperform all the markets across the country because we have jobs that come into here. And so the houses are where the jobs are going at night. This is the Bureau of Labor Statistics. This is showing you what's going on in the Washington metropolitan area. That's DC proper, of course, but it goes up to Frederick, Maryland, down to Fredericksburg, Virginia out west to Winchester and then east short of Anne Arundel County. So you can see in the middle there, this huge dip that happened during the COVID outbreak. And then at the end of February, 2021, it just shot up with a vengeance because on the left side of this table, way over there, way, way over there, over, over there, you can see that we were moving along one month at a time with about 15 to 20,000 net job growth every month. And then when we get to 21 and 22, it just took off like crazy. And so when you have this many people coming into the area, you have to house them. And if you're not keeping up with demand, then obviously the prices are going to start moving up. This is an overview, February 21 to February 22, net new jobs, 124,000. But in that same area where all these jobs came, we only took 95,000 listings. Immediately, we have a shortfall of about 30,000 homes that were needed for people to, to move into to live here as well. So we see that the jobs are definitely the, the precursor to what type of market you're going to have. And so I just wanted to point that out to you that we still are growing jobs in, the, in, the, in this area and you're not something you're gonna have to really worry about at least at this juncture. It's the summer of 2022, and it looks like we're going to keep moving forward with the job growth that we have there. I wanted to also point out, everyone keeps talking about the interest rates. Yes, they came up, but we're now two months into this. So it isn't like they just keep on going and keep on going and we're, you know, at six, seven, eight percent. We're not there. But back April 30 was about the last time that we saw to go over five percent, and we've been there ever since.
the people I'm talking to in the industry, they say, yeah, it could go up maybe 5.75, maybe tip 6% when we get to the end of the year, depending on what the Fed does. But right now we're at 5.5%. That's a pretty good rate in any market. But it definitely has had a little bit of a, a thinning out of the buyers, as it were. If you had $3,000 a month that you were going to spend on a mortgage, you were looking at an $820,000 mortgage on you know a $950,000 house if you had 20% to put down. And so this is definitely affecting one of two things for buyers. Either they're going to have to pay more for the house they want at the price they want, or they're going to have to alter the price they were looking at before. And so that's that's just the bottom line. I think you probably already know about that, but I wanted to get you back to where the rates are today. Um, this was last uh, week. This comes out every Thursday. So uh, tomorrow they'll come out with a new rate. Right now they're lingering about five and a half percent. So here's the big news. The, cri the prices for properties in June, I've I'm, uh, divided them up by county and areas. The uh, city of Alexandria leading the way with their single families at 1.225. Arlington Falls Church City, they're right next to each other. That's why I, I, I grouped them together. Are again, over 1.2 million. But you see underneath each one of these numbers, it's the increase June over June. So Alexandria City, those single family home prices are up 23%. Arlington up 11, Fairfax County City up 7%, Loudoun County. And uh, right behind me there is uh, Prince William County up 9% at 674 their, their single family properties. So the, the whole thing about the jobs, and then this is the next piece we're gonna get into. We still don't have enough inventory. I'll let you absorb this for a second. Alexandria is the red line. Arlington Falls Church is the pink line. And these are year-to-date listings that we've taken per year. So in 2018, on the left side in Alexandria, we took 1,912 listings from January to June in 2018. So when you see that the pendings are dropping, and then from last year to this year, we're down 200 or so listings over 10% down, you're naturally going to have a drop in your pendings when you don't have enough inventory. And so I would say to the sellers on this one, this is definitely not the market where you just walk in as is, sell it. They got plenty of cash. That's been thinned out. So you do need to do some care on your properties to get them up and running as far as the look and the feel and price them right, depending on their condition. Alexandria, they're running about the same as where they as where they were last year. This is Loudoun County, Prince William and Manassas. Inventory down well over 10% year to date in, in both the markets. So this is part of the problem we still run into is we just don't have the inventory. And there are properties hanging out there for 30 days plus. I would tell sellers, you know, react properly, make it happen, either get it decorated and, and cleaned up and shoveled out and price it right. Or if you're going to do as is, as is needs to be substantially under the market. So be sure to look at that. This is Fairfax County and the city, which is the largest market here in Northern Virginia. You can see we had that quite the V there in 2020, and then it came back with a vengeance in 2021. And now we're down 2000 listings for 2022 year to date. All right. So when jobs in your area grow, but inventory shrinks, prices continue to increase. That's just the bottom line. That's what you're going to be up against when, when it comes out to why are the prices still moving up. So if you are looking to put your home on the market, it's still a good time. If you bought this back in the mid 2000s, you're going to walk away with some good income. And for buyers, there's a, there's a period of time right here right now where you can go in and ask at or maybe a little bit low below asking price, we're seeing the average is still 100% list to sell, but 30% of properties have dropped their price and they're dropping it on average about 3%. So you can go in now and get a property with under the list price, but then also you could get a home inspection. I'm seeing a lot of home inspections go through and about 10% of the homes that are out there, the sellers are now offering seller subsidies to help with paying down your points or doing some decorating or something like that. Thanks for coming out today. I appreciate it. Anthony Carr, Remax West End. There's my website, my phone number. Let me get out of the way.
If you got any questions or anything, please feel free to give me a call or text me at the number. Thanks so much and have a great day.